Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. I am Fish. Too much fish -ics. Ha! I am Fish is a 6 hour long physics based 3D fish platformer where you play as 4 different fish. Your best buds and join your life in a fish tank and then bam, you're separated. So you go on a journey to get to the ocean in hopes that your friends are waiting for you and will find their way. Luckily, that's up to you, the player, as you get to play as all four unique fish friends. And the unique part is as good as it is bad. This is a physics based game, which is fine for two out of the four fish. So basically, half the game I love, half of the game annoyed me. First, you play as the goldfish. The goldfish has no special abilities. You're rolling around in a fishbowl or glass container, hopping over obstacles. This is one of my favorite chapters. Just simple monkey ball meets fishbowl. But again, being physics based, making it much more slow. You can feel the frustration start to kick in because of how slow and meticulous things are. But it's doable, and you feel a sense of satisfaction each time you make it to a new checkpoint. Then I played probably my least favorite chapter, oh, the flying fuck. fish. Back to the too much physics line. The emphasis on let's make a physics game can be felt here the most. These three levels in this chapter were unplayably bad. Here it's more puddle jumping, hop out of the water, glide to the next puddle, of course don't be out of the water too long or you'll die like every other chapter. And I absolutely hate the flying controls. I hate the jumping out of the water. None of it feels good or intuitive. It will make you want to rip your hair out. Thankfully, you're a fish, so you have no hair, and this game does allow you to skip to the next checkpoint at any level. And I'm so happy this is the case, because I abused this function so much for the flying fish. If the whole game was a flying fish, I swear this game would be a 1 out of 10. Though you don't get out completely unscathed, you still have to do the final checkpoint at least to unlock the next level. Next I played a Soprana. This chapter is annoying with the physics emphasis, but so much more doable and manageable. The Prana section is more about finding things to bite, to fly your level and move on. It's more hide and seeky, I spy puzzle solving. My only frustration again comes with the physics. The jumping just feels awkward here, and trying to move the camera and jump and bite at the same time, same with the flying mechanic, is just a nightmare, and I wish they got a tad more arcadey here with the jumping and again the flying. Less frustrating physics. And finally, we get my absolute favorite chapter of the game, the Pufferfish. This chapter is a blast. I want a whole game as just the Pufferfish. Please give me I am Pufferfish. Your ability is turning into a ball. You can hop out of water, roll down a hill, avoid obstacles, sink down to the bottom of the water, puff up for a jump boost. It was so fun and really boosted my mood after the two fish before. Overall, I am Fish has its moments of pure fun, but I'm not gonna lie, the frustration overshadowed the fun. You know there's an issue when you have to allow players to skip checkpoints. Let's have an arcade difficulty section instead next time or have one patched in. I give I Am Fish a 6.5 out of 10. If you played I Am Fish, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. Thanks for watching and of course, stay beautiful. Let me try another day. Oh, the I toilet. Should have done that. Excuse me. You thought that video was good? Ha! Huh? You should probably watch this video. The very video that's on your screen right now that YouTube hand selected for you out of all my thousands of videos. This is the one that it wants you to watch next. And make sure you're subscribed because I'm not a genie or anything, but I'm pretty sure you get 42 years of bad luck if you made it this far into my video and you're not subscribed. You don't have to subscribe, but I'm just looking out for you. I'm just looking out for your luck and your life.